Hi guys, I know it's been a while since I've done a tutorial and I apologise for that, I've just been very busy lately. But coming back, I'm going to do a quick uh, Photoshop airbrushing tutorial, uh, just for smoothing out skin tones and what kind of thing. So um, I'm going to do it with portraits, you can do it with anything else, you can use it with any kind of photography really, any kind of image, if you just want to smooth out skin tones or just make things look a little bit better. Um, also, it's good just for getting rid of little imperfections without having to use the content aware tool. So, um, let's get started. You've got your original layer here, and what you want to do is just duplicate it straight away. And then you want to hide the layer, go back to your original photo, then go to Filter, Blur, and Surface Blur. Now, I've got mine with a radius of 32 and a threshold of 72. Now, you don't want to go with the threshold any lower, really, because you start to get this like patchy paintwork effect, which doesn't look very good. So I'm going to bring that back up to 72, and then just click OK. And then what you want to do is you want to uh, reactivate your layer above, and you want to just zoom in a bit. Then you want to add a, a layer mask. Now once you've done that, you want to go in your um, brush tool, make it about 200 uh, in size, uh, just big enough just to make little um, corrections. You don't have to make it too big, else you'll be quite inaccurate. So make it big enough to cover large areas of the skin, but not too big that you can just end up messing around and making it look ugly. So make sure your hardness is on about zero. I'm putting it on zero. You can probably put it on about 50 and it worked the same, but um, zero works best for me at the moment. And the opacity on 50. Now with black selected as the foreground colour, you want to just draw on top where you want to get rid of any little like spots or pores or anything like that and as you can see it already starts to make things a lot smoother now the fact that it's on 50% enables you to be able to make it as smooth or as uh, coarse if you like as you want but you want to just draw over the face where you want to get rid of any like dimples or anything that shows up in the photo that you don't really want. Now the good thing about this method is that if you were to do it manually with the actual painting onto the top of the skin it would probably take a while to get all the skin tones right which could be really awkward whereas this is really easy and really quick to do so it really helps with like photographers and image editing. So that looks great already and if there's any other little bits you want to get close into you can just reduce the size and go around accordingly but this method works really well probably the best method for um, airbrushing but what you want to make sure of is that you don't go over the main features like around the nose the eyes eyebrows and the lips otherwise it just looks too fake because if you go over the eyes they start to blur and it just doesn't look very good so um, that's basically it for airbrushing skin. Hope you enjoyed this little tips tutorial. Stay tuned, I'll be doing more soon. My next tutorial will be on water reflections and creating that nicely in images. Um, comment in the section below if you've got any other tutorial ideas. I know a lot of you like doing interfaces and stuff like that, but um, sometimes interfaces can look a little ugly, but I might do that anyway if you want to watch it. So uh, yeah, comment below if you've got any tutorial ideas. Remember to follow me on Twitter because that's where I put loads of stuff and you can just look at my updates and what's going on and what I'm talking to other designers and stuff so yeah follow me on that it's quite interesting and I'll see you guys later in my next tutorial